gunpowder. Or we call it as idli pudi because it's more normally taken along with idlis and uh, dosas. They also have another uh, special pet name called gunpowder in English. So that's why I mentioned it as gunpowder. Otherwise, it's called idli powder or chutney powder, which is a substitute for sambar or chutney and uh, gets along well with idlis and dosas. This yummy, uh, spicy, healthy powder is what we are going to see today. Now let's look into how to do this. Idli powder or gunpowder. One cup of black gram dal or urad dal. 20 numbers of dried red chilies. 2 tablespoons of Bengal gram dal. 2 numbers of garlic pots. A small pinch of jaggery. A small piece of tamarind. 2 teaspoons of thin or sesame seeds. 2 tablespoons of dried curry leaves. 1 tablespoon of flax seeds. Some hing and salt to taste. Keep a heavy bottomed pan on the stove. Let it be on the medium heat and then first we will add the black ram dal or the purut dal. We will have to roast it until we get a light brown color. It depends on the stove you are using. It will take at least 5 to 10 minutes but we will have to do it in very medium flame only otherwise they will get burnt and they will become dark. Now look, there is a slight change in color. Can you see there is a browning? It should not become very dark but at the same time it should not remain without the color change also because you will get the raw smell of the urud dal otherwise. So see to that they are evenly roasted and all of them have a light brown color. The Bengal gram dal. And look at the Bengal gram dal, they are getting roasted. So there is also a slight change in color and at this stage you can remove them. With the garlic we have made it into very thin fine slices so that they don't give a raw aroma. So we have to make it into thin slices and roast them. If you don't wish to add garlic then you need not add this. We are adding a small piece of tamarind. This will also enhance the taste. So definitely try this powder with a piece of tamarind. Now I am getting the aroma of the garlic and you see they are roasted. At this stage if you remove them, they will blend well with the powder and they will give a good aroma. Now add the thil and sesame seeds or sesame seeds. I am having dry curry leaves. So it's easy for me to add. If you're not having dry curry leaves, just roast them well in a microwave or sun dry them. Or you can keep it on your room heaters so that they get roasted. And then you can add them to this powder. Now as the thin starts getting roasted, add the flax seeds. Now the thin and flax seeds have started uh, bursting. So that is enough, we can remove them from fire. Now before removing the roasted thil or sesame, add lastly one spoon of hing. It should not get roasted. So they will, because I am using powder, if it is going to get roasted, they will turn black. So lastly, let us add this hing. Now lastly add the dry red chilies. Again, when doing with this uh, chilies, you can uh, adjust it according to your family taste. If you feel it is very spicy and hot, you can reduce the number of chilies. And if you feel it is less spicy, then you can add number of chilies. Be careful, you will start popping while you are doing this. So keep it in very low flame. Now look how chilies are done. See, if there is no cut in the chili, they will just blot like this. So this is the right stage. You can remove them from fire. Do not add them to the fried ingredients already. We leave them separately because uh, we need to grind the urud dal first and then lastly we will have to add this. So now we have all the dry ingredients here with us. 
toaster we are going to grind them to a coarse paste add the required amount of salt we've got a nice some of them have been ground and some of them are uh, somewhere in half but we are going to add the chilies and then grind them again so by then everything will be ground to a proper consistency now add the small piece of jaggery while you are grinding it just break now and then stop it open give a mix and then again grind it that is the procedure for doing this powder so that you get an even, evenly mixed coarse powder now let us transfer into a storage container and this can be stored for more than one or two months if it's handled properly they don't get spoiled take a nice idli soft as jasmine and put some wonderful powder on top of it put some oil and serve this so dear friends hope you enjoyed this session of making this lovely gun powder do not forget or fail to make this follow all the steps and then you will have a wonderful exciting gunpowder ready to be served with your idlis and dosas Recipe the pizza always enhancing your taste buds if you like this recipe press like subscribe to the pizza and for your principal recipes visit to